So we're going to try to do something interesting with that. And um, the composition is pretty good as is. I shot this photograph myself. And when I shoot a reference photograph, I'm very mindful of the composition. So I can usually, not always, look and the composition in the photo is exactly or very nearly the one I'm going to use when I paint. So my materials today, I'm going to be drawing with this pencil. This is a Graph Gear 1000. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm using a 0.7 uh, lead, and it, it's about a, a B, I think, is the softness of the pencil. So <clears throat> my colors <coughs> are in my rag here. I just got some in there. Whoops. My colors are mostly Holbein, but I have some others as well. So this is a light yellow. Um, pale. Here's a yellow orange. Here's a brilliant orange. Cad red. Oh, I think that's kind of a crimson lake or something like that. It might be a lizard and crimson. Similar for this. <coughs> might be carmine, lavender. Uh, here's a deep magenta. This is um, a deep olive green. This is, I think, Oxide of chromium. Um, not sure what that is. Sap green, perhaps. Viridian, turquoise, and leaf green. <coughs> I have a lot of greens. Excuse me. I have a lot of greens. And greens are one of the more difficult colors to deal with in watercolor. And some people don't even put out a green much. They just mix their own with the yellow and orange and maybe have one green. Uh, but I but I do put them out, and today I'll be using them. This is cerulean blue, cobalt blue, ultramarine, I think, indigo. This is a neutral tint, which is a transparent black. This is ivory black. I think this one is a burnt umber, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, and quinacridone gold. So that's my palette. 